Right, let's talk a little bit about skins and table of contents. Right, what a skin is, I'll just press F4 to do a preview. Okay, here we're seeing a preview. At the bottom here we've got a play bar with various things on it. Exit button, closed captions, play, etc, etc. And we've probably got borders around the outside there, even though they're probably only one pixel. We have got borders there to contain this play bar. Now we've got the options to put this play bar up here on the actual movie and make it transparent if you wish. We can also put a table of contents over the side here, to the left hand side, or we can have a collapsible one. So let's have a look at some of these options. If we go to Project and Skin Editor, up comes our uh, presentation again, and you can see here um, we've got tick boxes. And if I get rid of these tick boxes, you can see that things go from the play bar. We can even get rid of the play bar entirely. And you'd do that if you had navigation buttons. So you have to make the decision where you want the play bar or not. Um, we can change the play bar look and feel. There you go, you get the idea. And we can actually change the playback colours if you want. The brown bit comes in there. So you get the idea. If you untick that, it'll go back to default. Now let's have a look a bit borders. Okay, borders are here. We can show the borders. Okay, um, we can give it rounded corners. We can even give it a texture. These are, I don't like them much, but you can give them a border and a texture. So perhaps that might be what you want. The HTML background is the background um, from the back of your web page. So behind it, can you see there, behind? So, um, your presentation's only going to be 640, 480, whatever you made it. But the web, the rest of the web page is going to be now that purpley colour. Okay, let's have a look at table of contents. If I click show table of contents and tick all the boxes, you can see now that I've got um, all the slides here and it's plopped out on the left hand side. I can rename these, so slide 4, I can rename as I don't know. Something else. <laughs> How good's that? And that then comes as something else. I don't think the um, the actual navigation will work in the preview, but so if you didn't want it at the side there because you haven't got enough screen real estate, you can go to settings, and here you can have it as an overlay. Now what happens? I'll just put that out of the way. See these little arrows here? When you click those arrows, this comes out. You click the arrows again and it goes away. Most of the other um, properties here are self-explanatory, so I'm not going to go through all of them, otherwise we'll be here forever. But have an experiment and a play to find out what they do. If I close that now, click F4 just to preview. You can see now that we've got our little borders. If I click that, the table of contents comes up and we're able to go there. Click it again, it goes away. All right, get the idea. That's the skin editor.